spacecraft intentionally crashed into an asteroid on September 26th. Oh, wow. As part of a roughly $325 million mission. Can we defend ourselves against the threat of a catastrophic asteroid collision? A NASA mission called DART may have the answer. In this video, we'll discover what mission DART is, how it can save Earth from future asteroid collisions, and what could possibly go wrong if this mission was to fail. I'm Julian, and today we'll find the answers to all these questions and many more. What is Mission DART? On September 26, 2022, after years of meticulous planning and preparation, a remarkable mission unfolded. A 570-kilogram spacecraft roughly the size of a refrigerator, was launched aboard the Falcon 9 rocket. This wasn't just any launch. It was a historic moment, marking the first time NASA sent a spacecraft to collide with an asteroid with a force equivalent to three tons of TNT, capturing the entire event on film. This mission, Double Asteroid Redirection Test, known as DART, wasn't just about delivering a powerful punch. It was, arguably, NASA's most important experiment to date, holding the potential to safeguard our future. While the targeted asteroid, Dimorphos, was significantly smaller than the one responsible for the dinosaur extinction, its size shouldn't be underestimated. At 160 meters in diameter, this celestial body was capable of unleashing over 300 megatons of energy upon impact with Earth, being six times more powerful than the strongest nuclear weapon ever detonated. Since the impact, scientists have been diligently studying the data, eager to understand the effectiveness of this first ever asteroid redirection test. But the journey to this point began years ago. Countless hours were spent meticulously planning this mission, choosing the target, strategizing the impact, and developing precise methods to measure its effect. But what was DART's goal? DART's mission had two purposes, to demonstrate the feasibility of targeting an asteroid at high speed and to show that we can alter its trajectory. This technique, known as kinetic impact, is envisioned as a potential shield against future threats from space. Recent studies confirm DART's resounding success. It has proven that a kinetic impactor like DART is a viable option for planetary defense, offering a tiny bit of hope against potential future collisions. How was the DART spacecraft engineered? Unlike other space explorers, DART wasn't equipped with a science lab. To keep costs down, it carried only the essentials, sharp cameras to identify its target, a compass to navigate the vastness of space, powerful engines for course corrections, a voice to communicate with Earth, and a powerful software for military missile technology. DART was accompanied by a small Italian-made spacecraft designed to record the collision. The footage captured by the spacecraft showed a massive plume of debris ejected from the asteroid upon impact. The mighty Falcon 9 rocket launched DART towards its target. The asteroid Dimorphos had its own tiny moon called Didymos in its orbit. DART's camera provided a glimpse of Didymos as it sped towards its target, closing the remaining 920 kilometers in just two and a half minutes. Its onboard computer used small bursts from its hydrazine thrusters to adjust the trajectory, ensuring a head-on collision with Dimorphos. In its final moments, DART was programmed to shut its engines off, allowing its camera to capture a chillingly clear image of the asteroid right before collision. It provided us with a clear view of the rock we were about to obliterate from 11 million kilometers away. So why this particular rock dimorphos? While countless asteroids orbit the sun, studying the impact results required a specific type of target. Here's why dimorphos was chosen. First reason, proximity to Earth. Dimorphos was conveniently passing relatively close to Earth, 11 million kilometers, at the time of impact. This allowed for precise tracking and prediction of its future location. The second reason was optimal window. Studies showed October 4th, 2022, to be Dimorphos's closest approach for the next 40 years. That on October 4th, 2022, the asteroid would be at its closest approach for the next 40 years. The next time it would be this close to Earth would be 2062. But striking the aircraft a week early offered the advantage of its brightest moment during this period, facilitating better observation of the collision's effects. Third reason was ease of measurement. The DART mission aimed to achieve a slight trajectory change, crucial for avoiding future collisions with Earth. However, measuring such a small change in an object 11 million kilometers away is difficult, even with spacecraft footage. Binary system advantage was another reason for choosing those asteroid. Scientists wanted to target binary asteroid systems, where a smaller moonless asteroid orbits a larger one. This simplifies the measurement process, as only the change in the smaller asteroid's velocity relative to the larger one needs to be measured, regardless of their combined orbit around the Sun. The ideal binary system also required the smaller asteroid to have an eclipsing path. This means, from Earth's perspective, it would periodically pass in front of and behind the larger asteroid during its orbit, allowing for precise measurement of its orbital changes before and after the impact. Dimorphos, 
being an asteroid with a moon, a binary system with an eclipsing path perfectly fulfilled all these criteria, making it the ideal target for the DART mission. But hitting this target was no easy feat. The immense distance between Earth and Dimorphos introduced a significant obstacle, a 1.5-minute signal delay. Imagine trying to hit a target 160 meters wide while traveling at a scorching 6 kilometers per second, but with instructions arriving a full minute and a half later. To overcome this challenge, the DART spacecraft relied on an ingenious solution called the Autonomous Navigation System. This remarkable technology, no more powerful than a PlayStation one, housed a camera and a small telescope. Every second, it captured an image of Dimorphos and calculated the necessary thrust to stay on course, akin to the guidance software used in military missiles. But DART needed more than just brains, it needed muscle. The spacecraft utilized 12 directional thrusters to maneuver and hit Dimorphos with pinpoint precision. Additionally, it boasted the next generation of ion thrusters, three times more powerful than previous models. These marvels of technology propelled the spacecraft forward with incredible efficiency, making them 10 times faster than traditional rocket engines. And what powered these remarkable thrusters? New, lightweight solar cells deployed from a rollout solar array named ROSA. With this combination of cutting-edge technology and meticulous planning, the DART mission made history as the first attempt to nudge an asteroid off its course, potentially saving us from a future collision. But what was the impact of this collision? Was it successful? The spacecraft hit, as expected, on Dimorphos's leading hemisphere, the one facing forward as the rock traveled around the sun. Researchers had planned the impact in a way that would maximize momentum transfer from the spacecraft to the asteroid, pushing it closer to Didymos. Previously, the asteroid circled Didymos every 11 hours and 55 minutes. Astronomers announced in October 2022 that DART had successfully shortened the orbit of Dimorphos by 32 minutes. Imagine the impact to be like playing billiards in space. A solid spacecraft crashes into a solid asteroid, and no material is ejected. In this scenario, researchers expected that DART would shave off 7 minutes from Dimorphos's orbit. DART only had to reduce the orbital period by 73 seconds to be considered a success. Researchers estimated that if the asteroid turned out to be a relatively loose pile of rocks, there would be a much higher orbit change of up to 40 minutes. When DART plunged into Dimorphos, it confirmed the second scenario. At least 2.2 million pounds, 1 million kilograms, of blasted out material provided an extra boost of momentum, which shortened the asteroid's orbital period by 33 minutes, as the latest study found, making DART a huge success. But what could go wrong? The stakes are incredibly high in space missions, where any mistake can result in a significant setback. So, after passing of more than a year, a recent study has thrown a curveball. According to New Scientist, research conducted by a high school teacher and his students from September to November 2022 suggests Dimorphos's orbital period has shrunk by an additional full minute compared to NASA's calculations. Their findings indicate a total decrease of 34 minutes in the asteroid's orbital period, which was initially 11 hours and 55 minutes. While the mission's success is undeniable, a shadow of concern appears. There's a potential downside to this technology falling into the wrong hands. Given its immense destructive power, the question arises, could this be used as a weapon in the future? A report in HT Tech cites a chilling vision from 1964. In their book, Islands in Space, The Challenge of the Planetoids, Astronomers Dandridge Cole and Donald Cox proposed using asteroids as the ultimate weapon, a planetoid bomb. During the Cold War, this theory was presented as a solution to the threat of nuclear war, specifically addressing the vulnerability of Earth-based nuclear weapons. Thankfully, these extreme concepts never materialized, even amidst the heightened military anxieties of the 1950s and 1960s. However, the mere mention of such possibilities underscores the ethical complexities associated with this technology. Cole and Cox described a captured planetoid as a weapon of mass destruction, capable of generating the explosive power of millions of megatons, creating immense craters, and potentially wiping out entire countries. They even argued that such a device could serve as an ideal deterrent because of its lengthy preparation time and its ability to appear like a natural disaster, making retaliation difficult. While the weaponization of this technology might seem like the stuff of fiction, the potential for misuse cannot be entirely disregarded. And now you know everything about DART Mission! Let us know in the comments below what you want to see up next on the channel. I also left you here two other amazing videos to watch next. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time.